Beautiful, yeah, it's soft, warm, discreet, a cloud of delicacy. Mmm, yeah, very French, the most French of all oriental perfume. Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another perfume review. And for new subscriber here, I'm Alice and I review every week classy, chic, iconic perfume. Some of them are rare, vintage and exclusive. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and to leave a comment. The most French of all oriental perfume, cozy, soft, warm, a little bit spicy, a cloud of delicacy with an hint of an uncanny deliciousness. The most effortless oriental. Yeah, I named this perfume. Today I'm going to review Shalimar Beautiful by Guerlain. So I'm going to review the Eau de Toilette today. Uh, I prefer personally the Eau de Toilette compared to the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Toilette has something very fresh, a little bit more delicate in my opinion compared to the Eau de Parfum, which is a little bit more intense. But this is a beautiful, beautiful oriental, very chic, super elegant, super classy. It's really the most French of all oriental. But let me introduce first this beautiful perfume. So this perfume has been launched and created by Jacques Guerlain himself in 1925. This is the first oriental, French oriental uh, created at that time. This, this is a very modern uh, new perfume and it was super modern at that time. Chalimar is an iconic oriental perfume with a very distinctive powdery uh, scent, powdery direction and what makes this perfume very unique is uh, what we call the Guerlinade. So the Guerlinade is a combination created by Jacques Guerlain himself. This is a combination of very simple ingredients, simple note, but uh, the result is very sophisticated. And the Guerlinade is a signature scent of uh, Guerlain. You're gonna find this scent in most of all Guerlain Perfume. This is really the signature powdery uh, scent of the Maison Guerlain. And the Guerlinade is a combination of different ingredients, three ingredients uh, in fact. The first one is the bergamot, so you can find something very fresh uh, at the opening, a little bit citrusy, lemony, uh, fresh and a little bit aromatic. A combination of iris, so a deep powdery floral direction with the iris uh, and you're gonna find iris in most also uh, Guerlain perfume. This is very very rooty, very powdery. And last a combination of vanilla which gives something very sweet, uh, very sweet, smooth. Um, but the vanilla in the Guerlinade in Guerlain is not sugary. It's a very sweet, delicate a smooth vanilla, which gives also something a little bit oriental in the Guerlinade. So if I have to describe the Guerlinade, I'm going to say which is super present in this perfume. So that's why the Guerlinade is a very distinctive powdery smell. And this is really the signature also of Chalimar. Every time someone is wearing Chalimar, I already, you know, I immediately recognize this perfume because of the Guerlinade. This is a very, yeah, a combination of something very powdery, very floral, but with something a little bit lemony, citrus, fresh with the bergamot and the sweetness of the vanilla. This is a very distinctive powdery scent and it makes this perfume unique uh, and that's why I think it's the, a very effortless and fresh oriental because this perfume is not heady, it's not intense, it's not a warm, intense, sugary or sweet oriental, very musky or lumberry. Now this perfume is sweet, floral, fresh, 
very fresh, very fresh, very delicate, very soft and smooth. It's not a musky, it's not an ambery intense perfume uh, and you would expect something like that because it's a very oriental but no, there's a very flowery, discreet, freshness uh, direction with this perfume which makes this perfume very unique and very French. So let me spray this perfume while I'm describing the notes, the emotion, the direction of this one. Mmm, mm, beautiful perfume. There's something yeah, very unique, very unique in this perfume, super interesting. It's a very elegant, very classy oriental. Yeah, I love it. It's a cloud of delicacy. A cloud of delicacy. There's something also clean, um, clean and pure. There's no aldehyde in this oriental, but you're gonna get something a little bit, not soapy, but very clean. Very clean, and I think it's because of the jasmine. Yeah, and in fact, every day, every day, I am uh, smelling this perfume because my boss actually is wearing a uh, Shalimar. And the first time, you know, I, I met her, the first time I, I entered her uh, office, I recognized immediately her perfume. I knew, I knew she was wearing Shalimar. And she's a very discreet woman, very French lady. She's very feminine, but she's very elegant, uh, very discreet, very soft. Her voice is very, very soft, very... Uh, very, yeah, very low, very feminine voice. I think this perfume suits her perfectly. If you like discreet, elegant, discreet, oriental, very flowery, very powdery. Yeah, so let me describe, you know, a little bit more about uh, the notes and the directions. So at the opening, you're gonna find a tart, a bergamot tart. There's something a little bit gourmandish, in my opinion, in this perfume. So this is very fresh and delicate in the opening and uh, you're gonna also get the citrusy of a lemony side of the bergamot. It's bright, it's bright, it's fresh, uh, it's still powdery in the opening before some spicy notes gonna play out after the bergamot, a little bit spicy and on the dry down you get something very powdery with the, the galena I just described to you. It's flowery, it's a deep uh, flowery dry down because of the iris. So the iris is a deep intense, uh, you know, flower and it's very, very powdery. And in the earth of this perfume, you got the deep rooty uh, iris, but at the same time a clean Hidi Jasmine. So the Jasmine in this perfume is pure, clean, uh, fresh, uh, very white, actually very, very clean. A powdery nut uh, with a very sweet rose, super powdery sweet rose. And of course the deep, rooty, powdery iris. And on the base, you got something more oriental with a smooth and rich vanilla, a little bit sweet actually. So let me spray again this beautiful, beautiful perfume. And there's something super addictive in this perfume. Mmm. Yeah, oh la la, there's no aldehyde, but I really like in this perfume the freshness uh, of the bergamot, uh, the delicate powdery notes and the clean, you know, the clean direction of this perfume. It's very pleasant, especially during the summer. That's why I really love the eau de toilette. In the eau de toilette version, you're gonna get this freshness and the clean side uh, of the jasmine, actually. <sighs> I love this perfume. Uh, so yeah, it's a very interesting perfume because it starts with something midly innocent uh, midly innocent and it turns to something more sensual on the dry down because of her iris actually and very mature uh, powdery rose and this perfume for me is like a whisper a whispering confession it's very feminine but at the same time it's a very uh, delicate very soft very smooth and if I have to describe you know this perfume if I have to picture um, you know, uh, uh, an idea of this perfume. It will be, you know, very long, silky, very long, silky dress or skirt, 
playing out with the wind. Uh, there's something super elegant, you know, when you see a woman or wearing a very long silky dress. Uh, which is playing out with the wind. It's a beautiful picture and it's exactly, you know, uh, the type of femininity uh, this perfume is inspiring me actually. So it's not a loud, heavy, you know, intense oriental perfume. Even the projection is strong and it's still, the garlinade is still intense and very long lasting on my skin. So I used to wear this perfume when I was a student. Actually, I, I used to remember that I had a bottle and I think it's a beautiful oriental perfume. Even I, uh, you know, I used to wear now more, I'm gonna say a little bit more musky or ombre. Uh, oriental perfume but this one is very classy very chic uh, because you're not gonna get something super ombre or musky or sugary like uh, most of you know most of the know what is or modern oriental no you get something super powdery super elegant super discreet super soft and delicate so it makes this perfume a very unique i think it's also a perfect work uh, work perfume, you know, like I said, my boss is wearing um, it's her signature perfume and it's very pleasant in the office in the sense that it's not a loud perfume. Uh, it's a very pleasant, uh, classy, chic smell and there's nothing tacky or loud in this perfume. It's not bothering you. So perfect, uh, chic, elegant, classy office perfume. Perfect also perfume when it comes to the eau de toilette during the summer, especially, you know, with the heat waves, actually the freshness of the bergamot and this combination, you know, of a very fresh, you know, the freshness of the bergamot and the powdery earth of this perfume. It's very pleasant, uh, especially for very hot, uh, very hot temperature during the summer. So it's a beautiful, beautiful day work perfume. Uh, in my opinion, I like to wear something more intense also for, you know, for the night or for a date, but it will be also a perfect, perfect night or date perfume. Also, it's very feminine, uh, very feminine and elegant. So I also recommend this perfume. Mm, last, last but not least, Oh yeah, it's super, super pleasant. Um, and what I really like, appreciate in this perfume is the freshness and the clean, uh, something very fresh and clean uh, side, which is very, yeah, very pleasant and surprising for an oriental perfume. You don't get something like that uh, in an oriental perfume. So, so I made a review today of Guerlain, you know, Chalimar by Guerlain, beautiful, iconic oriental perfume, very chic, very elegant. So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget also to leave a comment. I will be very interested uh, to know what you think about this perfume, if it's your signature perfume, uh, what you like. I know some of you are wearing this perfume, actually they mentioned Chalimar in the comments. So I will be very interesting to know what you think about this one. So don't forget to subscribe and I see you very soon for another video. Bye.